Wow. Okay, this is a video that is personal but important to share and I hope it brings you a whole load of value. So what I want to do is I want to share how I uh, navigated through 2021. 2021 is a uh, year of like just so many challenges, let's be honest. Uh, you know, you have COVID, uh, regulations, chopping, changing. You have all the drama around um, making your own decisions and so much social pressure around uh, around what they might be. And you're trying to manage a business uh, in and amongst one, dealing with yourself personally, and then two, uh, dealing with the environmental um, chops and changes. Um, so the first thing that I kind of uh, I think is so important to talk about is really the philosophies around uh, around dealing with the year like we've had, and and the kind of the core one for me is that like things don't happen to you they happen for you, and I, I think that is that is really 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 important um, because it's very easy to get lost in the drama of like why is this happening to me, and. It is hard, but it is so much more fruitful to take a step back from any situation scenario you find yourself in and think to yourself, okay, this is this is challenging, but what am I going to take from this? And also with the decisions that I make, um, how am I going to future-proof myself uh, off the back of this? Um, and for me, I look at the past year and I think it's been obviously really, really challenging, but I think it's also been really strengthening uh, because I've learned so much from it. I've tweaked uh, and refined how I operate that I feel like uh, I, I am so much stronger as a result. I am so much more resilient uh, going forward. Uh, and with that, my trajectory for going forward it, it is so much more uh, stable, let's say. Um, so I think that's that's a kind of key thing that I wanted to talk about. The second thing, and, and if you've watched any of my videos, you would have heard me quote um, Steve Jobs over and over again, where, where he talks about things not making too much sense at the time, but it's only when you look back uh, that you can really connect the dots. And this point is very, very similarly aligned to the prior in that in looking, um, sorry, in finding yourself in challenging situations, there is a, a certain surrender um, where I think to myself, okay, things don't happen to me, they happen for me but I might not know how they're going to benefit me then and there. And, and it's only in time, perhaps a year forward from now that I look back, that I'll be able to actually fully understand why uh, or how something happened for me and not to me. And, and so with that, there's a kind of a, yeah, a surrendering to the now and a, sur and a having faith that things will, uh, things will complement me in time. And as I said, not getting too triggered, too upset in the present, but having faith in the future and having faith that in time you will look back on the moment that you are in right now and know that it has brought you value. And that is a, 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 a surrender and a faith that I have had to pull on so many times throughout this year. And actually what's nice is sitting here at the end, I'm filming this video a week before the close of 2021 and into 2022 and I I can genuinely look at some of the challenges that I faced and some of the real yeah some of the really disorientating circumstances and go wow I didn't realize it at the time but oh my god that has that has complimented me and true to my first point it helps me make it helps make me feel so much stronger so much more resilient in the in the present and and know that yeah that 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 journey that I'm on is so much more stable, um, and so I hope those two points, um, yeah those two points those those two really philosophies for for dealing with things, um, I hope those are clear for you and you can grab from them. The other um, the other kind of things that I wanted to share are much more kind of um, much more let's say accessible. Um, so the first thing I found is that I, uh, I, I, I constantly found myself slowing myself down um, because let's be honest, when you're challenged, you kind of find yourself having to react. And when you find yourself having to react, you find yourself having to do a lot, lot more. Um, your decisions aren't so perhaps thought out. So you find yourself having to make many decisions and take many actions. Um, and what I found whenever I do that is that if I had only taken a little bit more time and perhaps thought out my decision that little bit more, 
I would have only had to make one good decision rather than four or five bad decisions. One good action rather than four or five all over this place actions or conversations. And so one thing I kept uh, doing this year and I found it really beneficial is slowing myself down. Anytime I found myself moving too fast, I would actually say, oh, I'm going to slow down for a moment. And I would give myself time to one, breathe. Uh, it sounds ridiculous, but actually it was amazing how if I was a little bit panicked, I would stop and I would just breathe in slowly through my nose, hold, breathe out slowly and repeat that process three or four times. That in itself helped me calm down so many times and helped me make better decisions, have better conversations, take better action. Or else, if I was a little bit more disorientated, I'd say, whoa, I'm about to rush into a decision here, or rush into a conversation. I'm actually going to go for a quick five minute walk or a 10 minute walk. And that was one of those things that like, I, I was able to look back on a day after or two days after and go, wow, thank God I slowed down. I made such a better decision. And, and so I wanted to share that with you, that for any time I found myself a little bit panicked, a little bit disorientated, slowing down was so, so valuable. Um, the next one was, uh, I found myself talking, uh, let's say a little bit too much, uh, talking a little bit too much about bad things. And, uh, and, and it's funny because a lot of the time in therapy, we hear about the idea of we should learn to talk more. Uh, but I do believe that there is actually over talking and over indulging in bad circumstances. And that, uh, that was really, really interesting for me uh, in terms of like I found my, I, I caught myself ha having had say the same conversation three or four times and realized I'm not getting anywhere here with this. I'm not progressing. I'm moving forward. I'm actually just almost indulging in my drama or indulging in my upset or my issue. And I, uh, I fe feel like I'm advertising myself here, but I hired a coach um, uh, specifically for, for this. I, I actually rang them up and I said, uh, I am talking about the same shit too much. And so it's obvious that I'm not able to release those issues and I'm not able to progress forward. And that was absolutely mind blowing for me. Um, to get myself somebody that I could talk to whose whole and total focus was to listen to me without an agenda and to help me process and move the conversation forward. Because let's be honest, if we have a casual conversation with a partner, a lover, a friend, uh, generally speaking, it's two way. And there is a bit of guilt when you share uh, and not everybody is trained to really listen. And so sometimes, you know, you can, the reason you perhaps are having the same conversation around and around is because it never gets time to complete itself. But in a more formalized, let's say coaching session, um, the, the coach is taught to have facilitate those conversations and taught to really listen and taught to work with you to move you forward. And that was hugely, hugely beneficial. Um, and then uh, I, I, I feel myself funny saying the last because there were so many tools that I used, but I really wanted to share these core ones is that I gave myself time to reflect. And the reason being is because they say everybody learns through experience, but that is absolutely wrong. We do learn through experience. And I say it's wrong because it's missing a key part. And the key part is that we learn through experience only if we give ourselves time to reflect on that experience and take the learnings from it and build those learnings into how we progress and move forward. And so the huge, I think, tool that I applied was that I gave myself time every day with literally a blank sheet of paper and a pen to reflect. And I would look back on the day, I look back on the week and I'd note the really good things that I did because I think it's important to also celebrate the good things. And then I would uh, look at perhaps where I could have improved or could have been better. And I, I actually really took notes on that. I was like, okay, I did this and I, I could have done that better. And, and whenever I got a circumstance like that, I would think into my day ahead or my week ahead and I go, okay, well, where can I take the learnings that I've pulled from this challenging experience? Um, and where can I apply them to going forward where they perhaps will compliment me? And that was huge. It, it really helped me solidify my learnings and almost get this kind of compounded growth effect. And, that is something that like I would 
yeah, I would really, really share with yourselves. Um, and just, uh, yeah, I hope it brings you as much value as it brought me. Let's be honest, the last year has been so challenging. The last two years have been so challenging. But I hope with having gone through this, you would, uh, you would appreciate that actually it's very strengthening. Um, it's very stabilizing. Um, it's built a resilience in you. It's built a self-understanding that will stand to you for going forward. And so perhaps this year has actually been the catalyst for all the change, all the excitement, all the growth that you want in your year. And that's the belief that I have leaving this year. And I really hope it is, uh, it is similar for yourself. And, and so in watching this, I just want to thank you for taking the time to thank this. If you like it, let me know, like it, uh, leave a comment. And if you believe there's ever anything I can do for you, feel free to reach out via my website. It's www.jamiewhite.com. And if you'd like to have a conversation, just get in touch via the comment box and let's go from there. Enjoy.